We're recording here. Looks like we're recording. All right, what's up guys? Back again with another video. Uh, today I actually wanna talk about the X100V and its video capabilities. Now we all know I love the X100V for taking photographs. Uh, it's my daily driver. I go bring it with me everywhere. Street photography, uh, even just like quick portrait sessions with friends. It's a real fun camera and I think like it's, it's given me so much. I think as a photographer that works daily with bigger cameras or professional cameras. The X100V has definitely been a breath of fresh air for me. We all know the photographs are great, but I actually want to talk about the video side of it because the sensor on the X100V is actually amazing. And the video quality you can get from it is actually really, really good. Of course, there are limitations. The big one being probably there's no image stabilization on the camera, so you're going to get jiggly movements and everything. Uh, Okay, so now I have the X100V uh, in a vlogging kind of setup. Just got it on a little tripod and I'm holding it out with my arm. As you can see, 35mm, probably not the best uh, lens focal length for vlogging. And also, pretty sure it's probably pretty shaky. No image stabilization. And also, yeah, it's uh, probably not the best vlogging camera. The screen doesn't flip around, so I have no idea if I'm in focus or not. You just gotta rely on autofocus and uh, yeah composition wise is probably not the greatest for uh, vlogging but anyways this is just a test to see how it looks the 35 millimeter lens uh, the focal length of that doesn't really help much either with handheld footage so all the handheld footage is going to be pretty rough especially if you're shooting 24 frames um, things are going to get real shaky but there are ways around it you can probably shoot 60 frames slow it down it does 120 at 1080 as well, so the slow motion capabilities of the camera is really good. And those are some ways you can uh, avoid the shakiness if you're just shooting some, uh, some B-roll. That's what I'd recommend. It does do 4K as well, but there's a limitation of a 10 minute record limit on it. So if you're just, uh, if you have really planned set shots, I think it's really good. I wanted to see how far I could take the video, so I've been doing some video tests. You've probably seen, you can check out, I did a morning coffee video that was shot, mix of handheld and a tabletop tripod. But I also rigged it out a bit, so uh, here it is. This is the X100V. I rigged it out, uh, got a little cage, a half cage for it. And uh, it has a half cage on it, it got a mic on it, it's got a top handle, it's obviously how I'm holding it. And then uh, it's even got an Atomos Ninja 5 on here because it can output a pretty clean 422 10-bit signal to it. You can record a 4K F-Log 10-bit, which is amazing for uh, your grading. Uh, the image quality is super nice. Um, so this this kit is uh, it's a little ridiculous, obviously, like, this kind of takes away the point of uh, the X100V being a camera that you can take around easily. Um, now it's become <laughs> something way heavier. But honestly, like the image quality you get from this camera is so nice. I feel like if you have it set on a uh, if you have it set on a tripod, uh, the footage from it is amazing. So if you're a YouTube creator, uh, you probably can use this as an A cam if you're uh, okay with resetting the timer every 10 minutes, or uh, if you're just doing a basic locked off talking headshot, and then uh, it's amazing. I think it's really good. You might want to attach an external battery pack to it as well, because the battery life does drain pretty quick. It's a small battery on here, very small battery. 
But anyways, I took this out, this little rig here, and then I put it on a tripod and I just walked around the streets to take some footage, some test footage. So why don't you just check out the video right now. So I hope you enjoyed that little video test. Um, that was all shot on the X100V. Uh, pretty much all tripod, some handheld. When you have it uh, hooked up to the Ninja 5, you can only shoot it at 24 frames or 30. So you won't be able to get that buttery, smooth or slow motion, not even 60 frames. So yeah, you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but as you can see, I, I was really impressed by the image quality coming out of this little this little camera and uh, just like taking it out and just like if you're just want to take some nice shots on a tripod I think it's super useful um, if you're uh, if you're someone that only has this camera and you want to dabble in video I think you should go for it it's a super solid camera um, so another thing you want to be aware of when you're taking video with this camera um, is the focusing so it does have, it has like very basic AFC, uh, the autofocus continuous. I find it's actually not bad. The, the autofocus on this camera is not too bad, but it's not, uh, you definitely, I prefer to shoot manual and you definitely cannot, it's rarely hard to, uh, to shoot manual on this camera. This is just, the focus ring on this camera is real tough to uh, go. And it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's not like a linear focus ring um, it's all like digital so like you really have to turn this thing to try to get the right focus and then like don't even try doing a repeatable focus pull it's pretty much impossible so like manual focusing on this is really really tough which is which sucks for me because I like manual focusing on videos um, but you know if you just plan out your shot the AFC works and uh, yeah you just gonna have to get around it the face tracking is not bad either I need to do I want to do a few more videos with uh, with face tracking, give that a test, see how that works out. But yeah, this is just my thoughts on the X100V as a video camera. <laughs> so I think it just looks hilarious when it's rigged out on a cage like this. I'm also gonna, I actually got a little mount too for a battery pack, so I'm gonna mount that in here as well. And uh, we're gonna get it going. We got the Atomos on here too, full HDMI. And then on the other side, it uses the mini HDMI port. So let's see here. So on the side here, it's mini HDMI, and then you need an adapter if you're gonna put a mic, if you're gonna attach a mic to it, to your X100V. It doesn't have. It has a smaller, it has a smaller linkage. You need an adapter. It doesn't use 3.5 millimeters. I don't know what it is, like 2.5 or something. But but if you have it hooked up to the Atomos, you can actually get the audio directly. Uh, you can feed the audio directly into the Atomos. Connect the mic in here. Focus. There it is. Connect the mic in there. There you go. Need some cable management going on here. There it is. It's super, uh, <laughs> so funny. And then when you're out on the street and you're shooting with this on a tripod, people will be like, what? What's this guy using? It looks nothing like a video camera. And, uh, yeah, it definitely punches above its weight class in terms of video image quality. Things just you just gotta know how to you just gotta know when to use it. Tripod shots great. Slow mo handheld if you're really steady, not bad. But uh, yeah, like tripod talking head like this, keep it under ten minutes, uh, you're good to go. Um, yeah, but if you guys got an X100V, I uh, I recommend playing with the video more. I think you'd be pretty surprised at just what you could do with it. 
like the Eterna profile that's baked in, uh, the film simulation, the Eterna, I really recommend. I love that. It looks really good and uh, easy to grade, not like F-Log. If you do shoot F-Log, I recommend going to the website. They have uh, Fujifilm's got like LUTs for it. That'll just get you to a good spot. But yeah, if you're not into that grading stuff, shoot in uh, Eterna. It's all good. But if you want the full dynamic range, F-Log's amazing. But yeah, this is, uh, this is my Fuji X100V camera rig. All right, guys. Uh, that's basically all I got to say about this. I'm going to do more video tests. I'll be uploading them throughout. Uh, so please, if you like the video, you know, like, comment, give me a sub. You can check out more of my photography on my Instagram as well. I'm Slickter on there. All right, guys. Peace.